and today I am revisiting some of my previous kind of work that I did in Animator in high school. I'm still trying to improve on this model. Another improvement that I found in Animator that I thought would be pretty cool was parenting. Um, so it's just something I recently discovered. It's kind of like rigging, kind of like the figure editor, but it's done in the scene mode. I'll add the Wally's body, I'll add his head, and I'll add his left and right arms. And as you can see when it's added into the scene, he's kind of all wonky and stuff. I'll just quickly position his head where it needs to be. If I move the body, his arms and his head doesn't really move with it. So, something I discovered recently is how to parent them together. So, when you move the body, the head moves with the body. So, um, you can see the parenting system here. You have E figure 1, E figure 2, E figure 3, and so on. What I'm going to do is rename it to the figures. So this one's called body, and this is called the left arm, and this is called the right arm. So let's type that in. Now as you can see the body is parented to the world. And if you look down the bottom here, that's what it's parented to. It's parented to the world, which is okay. But the head is parented to the world, which we don't want. We want it to be parented to the, um, the body. So we type in body. And now it's connected to the body. Just move the head across a bit so it fits. So, um, now when you move the body, the head moves with it, which is, um, pretty neat. So the head kind of moves with the body now. Same with the arms. If you parent the arms to the body, so instead of world, type in body and type in body for the right arm as well and then kind of adjust it so it fits and now wherever you move the body the other parts kind of move with the body as well you can make his head rotate and stuff, but when you move the body, it moves with it. So that's the advantage of parenting. But as you can see, the way I used to work, um, they were never parented together. So if I moved it, the arms and the body won't move with it. So with the parenting kind of technique, um, it does, so that's a big improvement from the way I used to work last time. But And even if you rotate it, the arms and the head kind of rotate with it there. Which is neat. Pretty sweet. Whereas before, if I tried to rotate this, I had to manually make it move into that kind of area which is almost impossible so yeah there you go that's how you parent and stuff 
just need to rename stuff in the in the parent area if you want it to detach from the body and stuff you can type in world and it goes back to the world position and if you want to be attached to the body again you just type in body and there you go I can do the same thing with the wheels but I'll do that in another video maybe and something where it still rotates on the x-axis right there which is pretty nice and I think it can rotate on the y-axis still which is pretty good so you can achieve a bit more complex kind of animation in animator now that you got the parenting sorted out